Hello everyone, I'm wildlife artist and author Nancy Quinn. I was recently commissioned to design and paint two wall murals for a local business. This kind of art is losing its popularity, so it was a very exciting project for me. I enjoy painting on the walls. Years ago, I painted a mural in my own home. Even though it's physically challenging work, I still take on projects like these. I simply have to ignore the protests and the complaints from my back, knees, and hip. Well, here's my handsome assistant, Bill. He helps me with taking measurements and does all the heavy lifting. His help is truly invaluable. I have to kind of laugh when I see myself. This is certainly no glamour shot here. As you can tell, I don't wear jewelry or any of my nice clothes when I'm taking on a project like this. For this first mural, the owner asked if I would paint a treasure chest under the tree that I designed. I decided to mix some gold glitter into the paint that I use for the coins. And when the sunlight from the windows hits them, the coins really do glitter like gold. I wanted the leaves on the tree to look like they were floating and flying across the 14-foot wall. So I painted them in a swirling pattern. I also placed a hidden ladybug and an inchworm in this tree, and people are really surprised and delighted when they accidentally find them. In the second mural, I wanted to continue the bright, cheerful, outdoor feeling, but with a connection to the past and a little nod to nature's power. Since I knew the art would be flanked by the two chairs in the photo, I opted for a design with height, which would look really nice between them. When you stand in the room and view the art, one of my goals was to give you the feeling that the wind is blowing the leaves of the first mural towards the second wall, post, grasses, and flowers. And that's why they're all leaning over in the same direction. I also used some more of that gold glitter to highlight the areas of the yellow sunflowers and wildflowers in the tall grasses. It, it's just simply magical. The lavender and purple flowers were inspired from the ones that grow in our front meadow. After a full inspection and another inchworm added among the wildflowers, these murals were ready to sign. It's a challenge to write on the wall at this angle, so I used a Sharpie pen instead of a paintbrush. Well, thanks for watching the creation of these two murals. I hope you enjoy this video and that you will share it with a friend or two. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. I'm inviting you to visit us in the wilds of Montana through my books, videos, and artwork. Subscribe to my channel and see my website at quinnwildlifeart.com. Thank you.